at every time step, I actually know what I already know and I know what I don't know, right? So at every step, I already know my u of t, right? Assuming u t is the last solution I got, right? In the beginning, I would have to start with forward order to get one step, and then afterwards I can use midpoint to get uh, three steps of solution. Now I have three steps of solution. I have this and this or no. And since I have u of t already know, I can use the equation itself, right? Because I'm solving an equation, du dt equal to f. The most generic form is f of t and u. I know the form f, t, and u. So if I know what t is, I know what u is, I can evaluate du dt. So I would also know du dt at the current time, at the current time t, right? Remember, all of these approximations are approximations at time t. So the only unknown is this guy. This is the only unknown. So to turn this approximation into a scheme, I move the unknown to the left hand side and all the known to the right hand, right -hand side. I would arrive u at t plus delta t would equal to what? I have to multiply uh, everything by 3, right? in order to move things around. I have to multiply everything by 3, uh, actually not 3, 3 delta t, right? And uh, move uh, all the uh, unknowns to the left-hand side and uh, uh, knowns to the other side. So it'll be equal to uh, 3 over 2 times u t, right? So that's, let me actually use green to represent all the known numbers. It's going to be u, uh, 3 over 2 times ut. That's this one. Check. Right. And uh, now, well, minus 3 over 2 because uh, I am uh, uh, moving this to a different side. Plus 3 times ut minus delta t. Right. So this term check. And I get a minus uh, half. Right. Remember, I multiply everything by 3 t. Uh, minus 2 delta t. Okay, and uh, uh, the last, this term. So I will have plus 3 delta t times f of t u. Right, here u means u at time t. So that's how you turn a derivative approximation into a usable scheme. Okay, so now let's try it out in MATLAB. Remember last time we have been trying to use uh, different schemes to solve the equation that's uh, uh, a proof of Euler's formula. So let's try a third order scheme that we just uh, derived, right? According to Taylor series analysis, uh, we are going to get at least a third order scheme, right? We didn't uh, look at the error term, but uh, we know we have canceled uh, the first order term, we canceled the second order term, right? I mean, any term that remains is either third order or higher. So we expect to see a line. Let's actually run the Euler first, right? And we did the log log plot of what? Uh, we did a log log plot of uh, uh, n list and the result and the magnitude of result list, right? So that's for, that's for forward order, and uh, we get uh, uh, a slope of one, right? And uh, uh, to make it easier, let's actually run the midpoint uh, and plot it actually on the same plot. So we'll hold on and we'll log log uh, with the result list of uh, our midpoint scheme. We do see that uh, the slope of the red is actually higher right, than the slope of the blue. Okay.